In this video I will show how you load a file, connect and then start your first print. So I, uh, I will use the emulator because I'm not connected to the printer. You click connect, it'll bring up a window and then master and wiper and so on will be activated. You can then click select file and we will use this one that we sliced earlier. Always make sure this screen is everything is deleted um, before you send a file automatically here to start getting printed because the way this works is it'll print the one file after the other one well the one then the next one then the next one so you might print a model on top of another model on top of another model so always make sure everything is deleted before sending a file to be printed automatically then click next and what it does now is it actually unzips that file. Uh, that dot gizmo file is just a zip file with a lot of different files in it this will show you the profile that it'll be using your projection area our scaling uh, display time and then some other information that i'll explain in other videos click next so here you can display the first layer this is now displaying or through the projector you can display in red it won't then uh, harden as much as displaying in white uh, in the past we we had something on the lens to to open and close it so you could open and close the lens uh, on some of the projectors we couldn't switch the the led on and off so we had a mechanical thing to open and close the lens if you have accessory control you can uh, switch the led on and off and this allows you to move the model on the bolt plate uh, left and right uh, up and down so if you maybe have something else on the bolt plate already printed and you don't want to remove that item then just you can still print on the same bolt plate just print it somewhere else on the bolt plate or if you slice it and you see it's going off a little bit out of the vat you can you can move that here so again we have manual control we can move the bolt plate up and down and click next we can then see the information that came from the profile so we're going to have a dip depth of 4000 the pause of the bolt plate down display time and so on so you can actually modify these values here now if you want to and then start the print and it'll use these values so you don't have to always go back to the profile change the profile and load everything again the profile is just permanent and this is temporary and here you can also move the the bolt plate and you can click start when you click start the the print will of course start so it, it's going to stop you from from double clicking start by accident so we just click OK for now uh, you don't need to click OK it it's already started printing and if we click stop it'll stop exactly where it is and click remove print it'll actually go back to the starting point where we started printing so the reason why it doesn't go back home is for safety because the print might be very tall and it'll crash into the projector or uh, the client might have a special vat that doesn't have an overflow so they always want to start at the same position so if you then want to remove the print just click bolt plate plus 10 plus 10 or whatever again be safe there's nothing stopping the machine from destroying itself and there's nothing stopping the machine from having the print destroy the projector so always be careful when you do the movement and that's the printing um, very quickly